Americans went to the polls Tuesday to vote for a new House of Representatives, one-third of the Senate, 36 state governors, and hundreds of local officials. Without a compelling national issue, turnout was expected to be less than 40 percent of eligible voters, the lowest in decades. Each state had a race to watch. Congressman Charles Schumer and incumbent Senator Alphonse D'Amato of New York were in a statistical tie in pre-election polls. In Florida, Jeb Bush, son of former U.S. President George Bush, sought the governorship. If he wins, he and his brother George W. Bush will be only the second siblings in U.S. history to simultaneously serve as governors in two states. Republicans initially predicted major gains, expecting the scandal involving President Bill Clinton would harm Democrats. In exit polls, however, most voters said the scandal did not influence their election decisions. Nevertheless, the outcome of Tuesday's election is being seen as a referendum on the upcoming Clinton impeachment inquiry by the U.S. House of Representatives. President Clinton, who with his America, wife has been vigorously campaigning for Democrats, urged all citizens to exercise their right to vote. I think this election is a referendum on all the hopes uh, of the American people for the future and their assessment of the present condition and how we get from here to a better tomorrow. Many states have ballot initiatives. Voters in several states were asked their opinion on abortion legislation. Californians voted on a $9.2 billion bond issue to repair schools and a controversial initiative to raise cigarette taxes to pay for child care. Voters in five states and Washington, D.C. were asked if marijuana should be allowed for medical purposes, and Oregon voters decided whether adoption records should be open to people over 21 years old. As for employees in this building, most analysts are predicting modest gains for Republicans in both the House and the Senate, where the party already holds slim majorities.